Tonight is a very exciting night in the history of the IOD. Tonight we celebrate the life and the legacy of an extraordinary character from our past, Lady Mackworth, who was from 1926 to 1936 president of the IOD. Tonight is the first of what we hope will be a series of Mackworth lectures every year celebrating radical thought, people who shake up the status quo. And we have Julia Gillard who will be the first lecturer in this series, an extraordinary woman in her own right, uh, achieving the highest office in the land back home in Australia, but also with some fascinating little connections to Margaret Mackworth herself. I know Julia Gillard is, is fascinated by Mackworth and understands what the IOD is doing in terms of broadening its appeal. So I think we're in for a really good show. Thank you so much for that very warm welcome to the Institute of Directors this evening and to this truly remarkable venue. Isn't it beautiful? It's really a very great pleasure indeed and honour for me to be able to deliver the inaugural Mackworth Lecture. A woman of many talents, she was a bold campaigner for equality and justice for women and children throughout her life. She believed, as I do, that there are no differences in women and men's capacity for work, their intellect and their influence. She proved this in her own career and fought to ensure that women could realise it in their careers. I think it's really important that the Institute of Directors is celebrating someone like Margaret Mackworth bold, feisty, energetic, a woman who took on politics as a suffragette, who took on business, who took on the House of Lords and fought for the right for women to sit there. That's a great message for the women who lead business and will lead business in Britain in the future. We're still seeing you know, unequal pay, we're still seeing women on boards grossly underrepresented, women in Parliament grossly underrepresented, and she'd be saying, you must do better, and she's right. Girls' education is vital, not only for their own empowerment, but for the broader well-being of their families. For instance, if all women in sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia had reached secondary school, child marriages and early births would drop by almost two-thirds. And if all women in all poor countries had the opportunity of a secondary education, we would see child deaths cut by a staggering three million lives. I do think that there is an important role, in particular for the IOD, for promoting women and promoting women in business. The IOD should have uh, a pioneering role in, in kind of supporting those women, nurturing those, those female entrepreneurs and, and, and instilling a sense of self-belief that they have every right to be a success in the business world. The story of Margaret Mackworth is an incredible one. and. Uh, it's a privilege to have learnt about it and to be in this environment at the Institute and hearing about the, the transformative effect that women like Margaret Mackworth have had on, uh, on British society, on British industry, on British politics. So I think it's a wonderful lecture series and I look forward to attending the next incarnation. As a woman, also born in South Wales, to a father who always treated me as an intellectual equal, I feel very privileged to have the opportunity to honour Margaret's legacy here tonight. I thank you very much. Thank you.